All right, after a little bit of a break, we're back. Um, so what I've done here is I've put in the checker springs and um, they're, they're <clears throat> pretty weak, <laughs> but that's the way it's supposed to be, right? Here's the, uh, here's the regular springs and here's the checker springs. All right, so over to the book. The book says, you know, it talks about putting in the uh, the checker the checker springs. So we did step 29, which was installing the checker springs on the head. Okay, it says before performing steps 30 to 34, see determining optimum push rod length on page 105. Okay, so in step 30, we're going to take another lifter. And we're going to uh, lube it up. Get it nice and lubed up. All right, I'm gonna set it right here for a moment while I get my hands took care of. Um, I think what we're gonna do here so we're going to set this to top dead center because the book says that and remember how to get it there 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock and that's roughly right about there and then it says to go ahead and drop drop this lifter down in there I'm gonna go ahead and stick my hand under here so I can kind of guide it in there. All right. Oh, the roller is this way. All right. So we'll make sure the roller's in the right spot. Okay, and yes, it appears that it is. All right, so the lifter's in there properly. All right, now it says to basically put the Top dead center on number one, and we're gonna go ahead and put this um, head gasket on. So it's clearly labeled here front, All right? So All right, there you go. I'm cur one thing I'm curious about is there enough clearance to clear this overbore? And yeah, there is. We're good. All right, now we're gonna set the head on top of that. Hey, well, now we're, now we're talking. Look at that, how nice that went on there. All right, very good. All right. So the instructions say, uh, follow bolt tightening sequence. Um, follow the head bolt tightening specifications and sequence listed in steps 43 through 44. All right. Now let's go get the old bolts.
Because remember, the instruction said to use the old ones. Just checking the threads. Okay, the M11 bolts must be tightened in three steps. These bolts require a substantial amount of force to twist. So you may wish to have an assistant help you hold the engine stand from rolling around while you're doing this. First stage, using a torque wrench, tighten the M11 bolts number one through 10 in sequence to 22 foot pounds. All right. <clears throat> I'm just getting them started. I'm making sure they're threading in nicely. Now remember, I've got new brand new bolts for this. But since we're going to be taking it off, you know, these bolts are only used one time. So, so that's why it suggests to use the old ones for this check. Okay, so now that they're all uh, in, now we're gonna tighten them to the sequence. Twenty-two pounds. I'm gonna go back to the clicker gauge. First stage, using a torque wrench, tighten the M11 bolts numbered one through 10 in, this, in sequence to 22 foot pounds. Second stage, now use a torque angle gauge to add 90 degrees of twist to these same bolts again in sequence. 
All right, now we're gonna use, we're gonna second stage, use a torque angle gauge to add 90 degrees of twist to these same bolts, same sequence. All right, you ready? 90 degrees. All right. Final stage. The specifications to use in this stage depends on the style of head bolts that your block uses. 2004 and later, with all same length M11, add an additional 70 degrees of twist to the bolts in sequence. An additional 70. Good lord. All right, that was a workout. Now we we tighten these M8s to 22 pounds, no angle. So we should still be on 22 pounds. extension. All right, so driver side head is on. This is it, looks good. Now let's go back to our pre-assembly check. And we just completed 30, install cylinder head on block. All right. 31 valve train checks. All right, so I've got 
right, so what we're gonna do is, um, I've got some cleaning to do. I need to clean up the rocker uh, arms. As you could see, I'm, my plan is to use the originals. So what I might do is I might go ahead and clean these guys up, give them a good bath and mineral spirits, change the trunnions, um, cause I'm going to do that and just clean it all up and get them ready. Um, cause that needs to be done. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do probably most of that cleanup, uh, off camera. So, um, I'm going to clean these up and I'll, I'll show on camera putting the trunnion, changing the trunnion, trunnions out, bearings, but in terms of the cleanup, I'm not going to bore you with that. So, um, so anyway, here we are. Um, just got the head on. I'm excited about that. Now we're going to the valve train checks, measuring push, measuring push rod length. That's what we're doing. And you can see, um, we've got to put the, the we got to put the rocker arms on. And these are the originals, and they're a mess, and they need cleaned up. So there you have it. I'm going to take a break. I'll be back soon and with clean uh, rocker arms and hopefully upgraded rocker arms with the trunnion bearings. And, um, and then we'll jump to step 31. All right. Thanks so much. See you next time.